Well, I'm outside today. It's just too pretty to be inside. So. Okay, I think this might work out. We'll see. I have my trusty Glock 19 here. It's uh, been cleared to work with. And I do have a baggie. I'm going to place it in to protect it from the moisture. And basically what I'm doing here is I have wet down my leather. You can see how pliable it is. This, this thick leather, you have to really get it heated up. Some hot water there so it'll uh, be pliable. But what I'm trying to do is uh, make a holster and got my little cheat sheet here. Just the one I printed off of the, the web there. The interwebs is mad bad. Voodoo likes to say, but um, so what I'm trying to do is decide what my shape is going to be like, and uh, I went to the uh, went to Tandy Leather and I bought a belt, some belt material also, uh, just for this holster. The goal here is to uh, to have a, a range holster that's already on a belt. A leather belt that I can just take and when I get to the range just wrap it around and clip it on and it'll be real easy and then when I'm done just take it off and toss it in the back of the truck so uh, that way uh, it should be more convenient so let me try to figure out how I want to do this I know there's a there's a cant or a a tilt to the uh, and I've been trying to find that 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 amount of tilt in other words how much you know how much does the holster tilt or can't um, you know you don't want it pulling pulling straight out because it's on your side you're trying to find a natural amount so I don't know I'm thinking I was thinking about 30 degrees uh, so I think I'll just leave this kind of this belt out kind of as a reference while I'm trying to trace this out on here and uh, I really haven't given this much thought at all and I've just kind of sat down and, and just started doing this so um, I have no clue what I'm doing I'm just as always I'm just shooting from the hip <laughs> pardon the pun so uh, let me see what I can do here got my trusty pencil and uh across the table. And so what I'm going to try to do now is clamp it down. So this is tight. And up against it if I can. This thick leather is really hard to work.
just some assorted uh, pieces of wood that are rounded on the end. I uh, even have a wood pencil that's kind of sort of a sharp, not a sharp corner, but a relatively sharp compared to these. So what I'm going to try to do is use these to try to just mold, mold that leather. And I'm not really concerned too much about the marks I put on the leather at this point. I think I can work that out. It's kind of taking a shape around there. Oops. Hard to get these lines straight. See what I'm trying to do? I'm just trying to form fit it. 
and I may not be doing this the best way. Then we got this piece clamped down all the way across the table. It's going to keep that side nice and straight. And I'm trying to form fit this so that the trigger guard and everything fits. Can't see it because of the shadows but that wraps around. Just have this little scrap piece of leather to protect the, that leather from being imprinted with the clamp. I think what I'm going to do is clamp down a piece right here to try to keep that tight. So oh, we'll see where it goes from here. too pretty to do anything except sit and relax.